Uh, a robot in the United Kingdom is filling an important gap in the market. The high-tech machine is successfully performing minimal access surgeries on many patients known as Versius. The robot has successfully completed more than a thousand surgeries. Here's a report with all the details. Man versus machine. This debate has been raging for decades. And now one machine is accomplishing a rare feat. Meet Versius, a surgical robot created by Cambridge-based CMR Surgical. This high-tech sleek robot, or shall we say, doctor robot, has already completed more than a thousand surgeries. Its articulated wrists and enhanced vision allow it to perform feats that humans, even the greatest of doctors, may not be able to. And Versius is making huge inroads in the minimal access surgery sector. Some surgeons really struggle to master certain um, techniques. And in fact, if you look at the literature in the United States, which is the most advanced surgical um, um, system in the world, um, still less than 50% of people get minimal access surgery because they just can't do it. It's difficult. So the idea being, if you could have a robot with articulated wrists and the enhanced vision and more people could do minimal access surgery, then more patients would get all the benefits of the minimal access. Hang on, hang on. Machines are not taking over completely just yet because the reins are still in an experienced surgeon's hands. The robot is operated by trained surgeons and is simply a medium to perform minimal access surgeries more precisely. The doctor operates this next-gen surgical robot with what look like video game controllers. Versius was created in 2018. Its twisting robotic arms are designed to mimic a human wrist. Just last month, the robotic system was launched in a French public hospital. It has also been deployed across some hospitals in the UK, Italy and even India. I mean, as you can see, it is a very aesthetic robot. It's small. It doesn't dominate. It doesn't intimidate. And, and I think the public are tech savvy as well. They, they like the concept of the control, the um, precision, you know, the accuracy that they perceive the robot to bring. However, it's keen to remember the person operating it is a human in total control and he's a fully trained surgeon. And so we're not taking any of that away. You still need to be a bright, well-read, able, good, talented surgeon. Versius has a portable, modular setup and can be moved around the hospital easily. While there is no price on a life, this life-saving robot will cost between 1 million and 1.5 million British pounds. The steep cost may hamper its adoption across different hospitals globally. But the creators say that the cost is outweighed by the less post-surgery complications due to Versius's precision skills. Human nature dictates, I guess, that if you haven't got the equipment, then you'll find 18 reasons why you don't need it and why it's not good. As soon as you've got the equipment, then, then you're sold on it. And, and I think that's, that's certainly been the experience of me and people who come and watch. They suddenly get it once they're, once they're involved in it and they see it, then then it helps to generate that. And there's a big buzz at the moment around new platforms. There's been one game in town for a long time, which is excellent. But to really drive this, we need other competitors. We need to drive the technology. We need to uh, drive costs um, and deliver systems in, in many more places in the world and, and many more hospitals. A robot like this can prove even more useful now in the midst of a pandemic. The robotic system implies that there would be lesser people required in the operating theater, thus reducing the risk of infection. But what happens to the sacred patient-doctor relationship? Can a robot fill that gap too? Probably not anytime soon. Bureau Report, we on World is One.